Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and in today's video we are going to be discussing the identity reveal. And no, not of Adrian and Marinette, because they are blind, but just because Adrian and Marinette are blind doesn't mean you have to be, because today's video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers over 10,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, and many more, at up to 70% off retail prices. Shopping online at GlassesUSA.com means a risk-free shopping experience, free shipping and returns, and 100% money back guarantee within 14 days. GlassesUSA.com also offers a collection of advanced blue light blocking lenses. Blue light glasses are ideal for protecting your eyes at home, work or outdoors, as they also include glare prevention and UV block. But as you all know, I do make quite a lot of videos for my YouTube channel, so I do spend quite a lot of the day staring at my laptop or staring at my iPad as I'm making a thumbnail or just planning things out. When I'm not making videos, I'm also a PhD student and at the minute I'm writing up my thesis, so I'm spending a lot of time on my laptop and even when I'm doing neither of those things, I'm just having a relax. I'm usually watching something. Like I just said, I spend the majority of my day staring at screens, so it makes me feel so much less tired to have blue light blocking lenses. But don't worry if glasses aren't your thing, because GlassesUSA.com is the perfect place to also stock up and save on contact lenses. You get 25% off all contact lens brands, including Vistaplus, AccuV, Biofinity, and many more. GlassesUSA.com even has a virtual try-on tool on the website, which was really helpful in helping me find the right pair of glasses and what suits my face shape. It's really, really easy. Just upload a photo of yourself without glasses on, select where you want the glasses to be on your face and decide if the frame looks right on you. So now talking about the frames, they very kindly sent me three pairs that I picked. So the pair that I'm wearing are the Muse Atherny frames in shiny black. I think they look really, really nice. I really love the shape of them. They also sent me the Amelia E. Francisca frames in green. It's just such a beautiful shade of green. It's so, so pretty. And the final pair they sent me are the Toto Nicoletta glasses in gold and tortoise. So it's gold on the front and then it has these beautiful tortoise sides. They're all amazingly made. I absolutely love the quality, the feel. I think they're absolutely wonderful glasses and I've been wearing glasses since I was four years old and I'm 25 now. I am a long time glasses wearer. I know when I'm wearing a good pair of glasses because um, I've been wearing them for most of my life pretty much. Please check the description box besties for links to glassesusa.com's website. I'm sure you won't be disappointed if right now you're in the market for a new pair of frames. Thank you so much to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video. So like I said, we're here to discuss the identity reveal, the one we've all been waiting for, but not Adrian and Marinette, so we already know who they are. So boring, very 2019. Now, today we're going to be unmasking the identity behind the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Banana. He is the true MVP of the show. The MVP, if you will. Why are you the way that you are? This is the video no one asked for, but the video you will desperately needed in your lives. You just, you just didn't know it yet, obviously. But no Bible spoilers are welcome under this video, please. I know that some of you who have read the Bible do really enjoy making it part of your personality now, but it does go to show just how much of a truly boring person you were beforehand if um, all you wanna do now is spoil a kid's TV show for a load of people. So, um, yeah, thanks. What a sad little life. Also, I have made pretty much all the information in this video up. Why? Because I can, and if you don't like it, please get out of my kitchen. I'm not in the kitchen, I'm in the dining room. Either way, I speak two languages. Second one is English, first one is sarcasm. You have been warned. Mr. Banana, in my humble opinion, is the greatest mystery in Miraculous Ladybug. He wanted to be a cucumber when he was a child, but he grew up to be the banana we know and love today. But how did this happen? We're going to find that out today in the premiere episode of Miraculous Mysteries. Stay peachy! Our story begins with Mr. Banana's grandfather, Daddy Mananya, in 1938 in Salzburg, Austria. He was the youngest of seven children and had a rather happy childhood until his mother died 
when he was five years old. Not all hope was lost though. Their father remarried their governess and to all the Americans watching, first of all, no, I'm not Australian. Second of all, a governess is like a babysitter who lives with you to sit on the baby. She doesn't just come over on a Saturday night to squish your children. She does it full time, you know what I mean? She's there always. However, disaster strikes when a certain group of people arrive. I don't know if I can say their name because it might get my channel demonetized, but it starts with an N and it ends in Atsi. And if you can't work out who I'm referring to, then I think you're probably too young to be um, using the internet. So um, there's the door. So the family end up fleeing the country across the Swiss Alps, as you can imagine, was very hard for Daddy Banania as he is a banana, obviously, and he, has no legs. Obviously. However, they finally arrive in Switzerland and they are completely safe because Switzerland are so neutral and don't get involved in anything that the only thing they are famous for is first of all that and also making cuckoo clocks because nothing that fascinating has ever happened in Switzerland. However, when the war ends, the family decides to move to America. And once there, the family find fame as a singing troupe. And as Daddy Bananya grows up and goes to college, he meets the banana he will marry. After graduation, they have twins, both bananas, obviously. I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? And using his industry connections, Daddy Bananya gets his sons B1 and B2. Yep, those are their names, Banana 1 and Banana 2. Daddy Banania is an icon. Their own television show, Bananas in Pajamas. B1 and B2 were incredibly successful, but things did not end well for B2. He very sadly died in a car crash in 2002. However, on the day of his funeral, a woman came to Daddy Banania and B1. She was holding a baby, a banana baby. It was B2's son. It was Mr. Banana. This family's really good with names, obviously. <laughs> so Daddy Banania and B1 raised Mr. Banana, hoping he would take up the family legacy of being a banana in the entertainment industry. But Mr. Banana didn't want that. After finding out what happened to his father, B2, Mr. Banana didn't even want to be a banana anymore. He wanted to be a cucumber. Banana One and Daddy Banania wouldn't let him though, and at the age of 16, Mr. Banana fled to England to stay with a distant cousin, Mr. Bean. Everyone in this family has food themed names, obviously. In England with Mr. Bean, he encouraged Mr. Banana to follow his dreams, but after watching VeggieTales on repeats, Mr. Banana decided he wanted to become a banana in the entertainment industry and follow in his father's footsteps. Mr. Bean helped him design his outfits and they absolutely nailed it. To me, as the person interested in fashion, this outfit is saying, you could mess with me, but you won't come out on top. Like, you can't defeat him. Like, the easiest way to take someone down is to punch them in the throat, and you can't punch someone in the throat if you can't see it, which you can't in this costume. This outfit is like literal armor, no joke. So once he had his identity secured and his comedy routine down, Mr. Banana decided to try his look in France and thankfully he found fame and fortune in Paris. So there you have it besties, the untold story of Mr. Banana you didn't know you needed to know. Thank you once again to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video. Besties, please don't forget to check out their links at the top of the description box and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>